What's going on YouTube? It's Ganimo and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be laying out the top six money-making moves you need to start doing your first day of residency. So let's dive right into it. As your career as a physician starts to grow, so do your financial obligations and residency is no different. You just went through many years of non-stop education and making no income to finally making an average of $55,000 a year. And that's money you can put to work. So residency is a time when you're gonna be developing your skills as a doctor. It's time to put that actual knowledge into action. It's a time where you're gonna be overworked, running on no sleep, but it's also a time for you to develop your financial foundation. So my little buddy Gan and I decided to make this video just for you so we can give you our six money-making moves to get you ahead financially in residency. So our first tip for you is design a student loan repayment strategy. Now, there are many ways that you could start paying back your student loans. You could refinance your student loans for a lower interest rate, but during residency, that's gonna eat up a lot of your income. So, although we highly recommend refinancing your student loans, you may wanna put that off hold until the end of residency. So, during residency, we really recommend enrolling into an income-based repayment strategy or a public service loan forgiveness, which actually makes your monthly payments more manageable. Right after you graduate, you're offered a six month grace period that you don't have to pay on your student loans. But that's not the time you should be off holding and sitting on the couch and forgetting about those student loans. You should be coming up with a game plan to start knocking out those student loans and trying to get ahead. And another reason why you should start making payments on those student loans is because there is a tax advantage. $2,500 of the interest paid is gonna be a tax credit. And our second tip is maintaining a rainy day fund. You should have that as your main financial priority because you never know what emergencies are gonna arise during those residency years. Maybe Gan wants to come visit me. Maybe I wanna go visit Gan. Maybe I broke up with Gan and Ken needs to buy a lot of tissue paper so he can wipe his tears. You never know what true emergencies will come up and having that fund there is gonna secure you throughout those years. We recommend three to six months of monthly expenses put into a high interest bearing savings account such as Marcus or Ally Bank and right now they're offering about 1.3 to 1.29% interest. And our third financial tip for you is open up that majestical Roth IRA. It's time to start investing and investing you shall start. A Roth IRA is a great way to get ahead during residency. I actually opened mine up before residency, April of that year. And I just did that to start getting ahead financially. Well, a Roth IRA is a retirement account that you're able to contribute your post-tax dollars into. And that money grows and grows and compounds. And you're able to pull that money without paying any taxes on it at the age of 59 and a half. So contributing to that Roth account makes a lot of sense because you are going to be in a higher tax bracket later on in your life. So contributing that maximum of $6,000 a year not only guarantees that you're gonna have a solid retirement plan in the future, but also you're gonna be able to start the habit of saving 10% of your annual income. And our fourth tip is take advantage of all the benefits your employer might provide. So most residencies will come with some benefits. Those could be medical insurance, dental insurance, vet insurance for little puppies like Gain here, or a 401k or a 403b. And the best part is some employers actually match those contributions. So what is a 401k? Well, 401k is a type of retirement account where you're able to contribute your pre-tax dollars into. However, you're gonna be having to pay your marginal tax bracket at the age of 59 and a half whenever you pull that money out. But the best part is during those years until that age, that money grows and compounds. So we highly recommend for you to start contributing to your 401k or 403b. We do, yeah, okay. we do. Most, empl do. <laughs> most employer contribution matches are at about three to six percent. So even a small contribution to your 401k will allow you to have more money in retirement, get you into the habit of saving, not spending, and that's more money for you to live off of in the future. And our fifth tip is get yourself some disability insurance. Protect your current self and your future self. Make sure that there's always gonna be an income coming through even whenever you get hurt or disabled. Let's say you're one of those adrenaline junkies that likes to go skiing every year. Well, chances are sooner or later you're probably gonna get hurt or you're gonna find yourself out of work because of an injury that you have. Well, this way, if your disability insurance kicks in, you're gonna be able to rely on that source of income still coming through so you can cover your expenses, your bills, and of course, the student loans. The reason we say to get disability insurance now is because during your residency years, you will be receiving the cheapest rate possible. And a lot of residency programs actually offer you discounts on top of that. So get yourself covered. And all those reps are gonna be coming, trying to fish for your business. 
so you're able to get yourself a great deal. And our sixth financial tip for you is educate yourself financially. The learning does not stop here. Actually, during your residency years, it's time to learn something new. Finance. Residency is a time you could use to dedicate to learning about the finance world, learning about different investment vehicles, different retirement portfolios, real estate, the difference between 401ks and 403bs and IRAs, or whatever your heart desires. And you can do that by reading books. We actually listed our five favorite books in the description below. Or you can start subscribing to different forums or blogs or watching videos like this one. And the one thing I know is that if you put the time needed to absorb that information, you're gonna be on your way to financial freedom. So all in all, residency is the absolute best time for you to start to get ahead financially. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to gingerly tap that like button and hit that subscribe button for updates of new information and videos, and we'll see you next time.